Hello, Mukesh Patel. Welcome to the stream. Nice to catch you around. On this late stream for the Hogs of War event. Glad to catch you around. <clears throat> Just gonna do some battles and then I, when we have a few more people in, uh, I'll go through the event and we'll talk about what it is that I think uh, about this event, whether it's worth going for it or not. Uh, just to work, we'll do a rundown, and uh, and then yeah, we'll see what we'll see whether this is uh, worth doing. Okay, I need to look for a relic. Ooh, ooh, ooh. just getting set up. I'm going to use Meladega for this stream because uh, the fact that she can get the battles done quickly. Uh, but then I might switch over to using my. Um, Mitano and just to train my Mitano up and we shall do that as well Okay, so let's do some battles guys. Let's do some battles Now with the Dega because she's got some fire resistance uh, It doesn't really I, She doesn't really struggle with the with the grinds uh, and I was actually experimenting using um, my Mitano before this one, even lower level lands, but I tend to lose quite a few Panthers and and we know that now Panthers take longer to train. So given that, I've decided to switch over to Ladega for, for a grind at the moment. But I will switch back to Mitano because I do want to get Mitano leveled up uh, and yeah, to see how things go from there. So Mukesh Patel. How are you doing in the event? Have you made some plans of how far you're going to go go into this? Are you going to be looking to get all the piggies or you have all the piggies? Let me know what are your intentions for this event. Four people watching. Glad to catch you around. I know there are quite a few streams going around at the moment. Um, so I wouldn't blame anyone for not turning up. Because with this event going on and a lot of us wanting to say what we think about the event. It's quite natural for people to move from one stream to other and probably at the end say, Hey, I've been on too many streams. I just want to focus on my game. And that's all cool. Just gonna try and do how many of grinds I can. I've got, as you can see, I've got a hundred and well, ninety-nine portal stones. I, I, uh, I had ninety-nine portal stones before I began, uh, but you know, I'm hopefully gonna get this under control, get all the portal stones under control, right? Because that's what we want. Come on, I'm not gonna try something as crazy. Okay, let's let's just look for some event lands, shall we? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This person have event lands. There we go. Event lands on the go. Let's hit this guy. Let's get some raids going. And the whole idea is for me not to get too many, um, too many losses of panthers because if you lose panthers, because it takes so long to train up, uh, it's quite boring to get things in. So hopefully, I don't lose many troops. And uh, we get this show running. So I think while we do the grind, let me just sort of uh, go, sort of express what I think about this event now. With the new AI changes coming in, we know the Grenadiers have become a real force to reckon with. And with the Grenadiers being so powerful uh, in their damage, and because they fire the first thing they see on the battlefield. Uh, you you know having any titan that can actually tank that damage uh, is a good idea so I on that count I do think that champions are one of those tanky sort of uh, class of titans so if you haven't got yourself a decent four star champion so far I think this event is a uh, is a reasonable thing to aspire to and get something through 
10k so for 10k souls you get a snow go and given that this is a longer event so this event ends on the tuesday i believe you have about five days to do this event hello pisces <laughs> welcome to my stream buddy glad to have you around so I've been there, I was mentioning about a while ago, since there have been so many streams, you know, I was, I thought I'll just get straight into the battle and I'll, uh, but I will discuss my thoughts on what I think the event is and, and whether I think uh, one should go for it or not. But, but to put it in short, I do think this event is worth it for new players. If you're new to DOT and you don't have a, uh, a good Titan to raid with at the moment, then having a champion and certainly a four star champion would be highly recommended and we all know that champions inherently have have a, a high health some some decent armor and resistances to elements uh, as well in their skill sets so they they are they are a perfect combination uh, of of, uh, of sort of defense and offense in a way but of course it all depends on what skills you get at the end of the day so you can't be totally, um, you know, reliant on a particular type of titan uh, or, or, you know, because, you know, at the end of the day as well, when you finish doing your grind, you get to, what, 10k souls and you find yourself a snow gore. And let's say that snow gore, you know, has got some really bad skills. Then you'd be like, hey, I put all this time in and, you know, I've got, you know, I've got such a role. So ch champions are one of those classes of titans along with, I be, I, you know, I would say uh, paladins as well that, uh, and even to a certain extent guardians that you don't know what the role is going to be. So it is a gamble at the end of the day. But if you're willing to do that, if you don't have a first titan and, and let's say you're a collector because I know a lot of people just collect titans. So if you're one of those go on and grab it go on and grab this side hey sergio and welcome welcome to the stream pisces says i want your opinion you should level up my thorg with health resist to physical resist to lightning resist to ice resist to earth or my ayaka with resist to lightning critical resist poison ap and health mm, that's interesting now I would say if I if I had to choose between leveling up a paladin and leveling up a champion, I would always go for champions. Especially if you're thinking of this from the perspective of an attack. If you're thinking of using that to attack something, then I'd say go for the Ayaka. And also because your Ayaka has got some poison resistance, you know, because we still know even though even though it's a greed, yeah, yeah, we have. The Grenadiers who are taking the central stage now with their abilities on defense. Uh, but as far as attack goes, we know how powerful Grenadiers are. And uh, so given that, and given that your Ayaka has got a pretty, pretty decent skill set. Um, I mean, not decent, it's pretty good actually. I'd say go for your Ayaka. Your Paladin, your Thorg, uh, although it's good uh, and probably would couple well with some sort of defense that's based on... Um, um, on having uh, some Goliaths around him, uh, it's still it's it's still going to be something for defense. You're not going to be using him much, so you will also find that leveling up your Thor will be a slightly more a challenging task compared to your um, uh, champion. And you know, one thing you can also notice, and I don't know if anyone's brought up this point, and I don't know if it's just me. Uh, but you know when you do your uh, grinds when you're grinding uh, events, you know, you'll find that uh, uh, Yeah, you'll find that most Most of the times you will get uh, you, Your drops will consist of champions, you know the one star versions or whatever so given that's the case You know, it's it'll be nice to get one of uh, you know to get to you know to level up a champion it'll be easier rather to do that so yeah that's my view i uh, uh, sorry pisces <laughs> oh, one well, the same uh, i would say level up your ayaka and uh, once you've gained a reasonable level of uh, probably gotten your ayaka to level 50 or so i would say switch up and then level up your thorg 
because I mean they are both good but if I had to choose between one of them I choose the champion any day so got seven people watching I think more and more people are tuning in so Sergio and if you're still around if you uh, if you wouldn't mind and uh, if that isn't too much to ask of you if you don't mind posting the link to my channel on the band chat uh, unless uh, if, if not if that's not already there I can't remember if I put that in um, just so that we can get a few more folk joining in but uh, I always appreciate any and everyone around in my stream uh, to keep me company while I do my uh, while I do my grinds as you can see I've got 84 I've got 84 portal stones and uh, it's uh, you know it takes quite a bit of <laughs> patience even to get all of that done because I was trying to do a hundred portal stone grind I was at a 200 portal stone grind I think in my last stream somewhere was it was yesterday uh, or day before but I can't remember but man it does it take time so five says be right back cool man okay, we'll, we'll see you in a bit oh hello first Steph welcome to my stream once again nice to catch you and I hope you are uh, finding this event somewhat useful if not uh, but but I but first if I'm correct me if I'm wrong are you a relatively new player or are you at a slightly low castle level I think if that's the case I, I would say that if you haven't got any of these piggies uh, it's a decent event it's a decent event and after this battle let me now because we got about uh, oh we had 11 people watching but now it's six but anyway what I'm gonna do is I'm l let me go through um, Surgeon says, sorry, I'm driving. Oh, that's cool, man. That's cool. No problem. Focus on your driving. Um, and I guess you can just listen on, listen in to me if uh, that's what you're doing. Uh, do focus on the road. Okay, guys. So, oh, miles are unlocked. Okay, guys. Let's do, let's do something. Let's, let's have a quick overview of the event. And I know you must have heard about this from everyone else around here. And uh, perhaps the perspective that I'm going to be giving may not be drastically different from everyone else. Uh, but let me bring up some points which I think uh, you know are worth considering. Now, first of all, let's look at the, the duration of this event. Now, this is a four days. Uh, it was a four days, 17 hours event, I think, when it began, or four four days and 20 hour event. Uh, so it's it's approximately four four and a half days to five day event. That's a long time, okay, uh, for an event. That and this event is uh, the reason this event is running longer than normal is because Monday is a bank holiday, and uh, as and uh, in UK, and as I understand it, uh, because Natural Motions got their office in the UK, I suppose. Uh, the, uh, the the developers and the people who monitor live streams would probably be on a holiday on the Monday or will 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 have a holiday because that's that uh, that is a holiday in the UK. Uh, they have posted this to Tuesday, uh, but then again the event isn't uh, is for twenty thousand souls. It's not twenty four thousand souls. So looking at that and given the fact that you get a one point three for one point three boost pretty much for using any four star ice fire and poison titan and i would suspect that a lot of us do have at least one four star ice titan or a fire titan or a poison titan by now if if not well it the, the, my answer would change to that but if you are one of those who've got one of those titans and given that uh, it's 20000 souls and you get a 1.3 boost um, the, the number of battles that you'll need to do in order to get to a goal not necessarily 20,000 souls, but whatever it is that you set up will be easier, relatively speaking, to do the event. Uh, so, first, uh, yep, I'm going for snow gold. Yep, so that's a good idea. So, now if we, let's look at the reward chain. Now, as what they've done, uh, uh, what they've repeated on, and which I do like about this event, is that they, give, they, they continue to give us a uh, couple of, well, a couple of hundred portal stones. Now, in the event as well, you get at uh, 40. Uh, soul which is pr probably nothing really a few battles in you get 50 portal stones uh, you also get uh, at 500 portals 500 souls you get 100 portal stones so if you just manage to grind in to 500 souls uh, which I believe would be less than about I think 40 battles if you do 4 zero battles using a uh, using a booster titan you can get yourself 150 portal stones and you can Continue pushing yourself further on. Pisces says, I have one ice. 
to poison for satitans and to earth ones oh that's nice man that's nice that's nice so since you have um, since you have uh, a four, you have your ayaka you can use your ayaka and that'd be a good opportunity for you to uh, level up your ayaka through grinding so i would recommend doing that now the other thing guys you get leveled up titans and this is something quite nice and i appreciate the devs for doing this again uh, for example you get a leveled up telos okay obviously it's not something that you will probably want to put on your on your defense or on your even probably on your land but it will be a, will be good food but i guess if you're if you're starting out new in the game uh, you can also find some benefit in using uh, telos telos is a uh, alethian or an ice champion uh, so yeah you see something something to consider not to write off for sure now you've also got a uh, now the, uh, the, of course all the other rewards are there that's all cool now you get your uh, your your third earth token is it third i think it's a third yeah there you go you get a third earth token at a thousand five hundred souls uh, which is good so if nothing else it, if you just do the event uh, for one five zero zero souls you get three tokens and you know that's it now what i would encourage everyone to do is to go and get yourself the akivu now akivu is the uh, three star poison champion and we know poison is still the meta although grenadiers are taking the central stage uh, what i would encourage everyone to do is go on uh, and uh, try and get yourself to 4500 souls okay and that's because if you go past a kivu and this akivu again is pre-leveled so that's pre-leveled that's a three star item pre level to 10 so i think that's pretty sweet uh, you carry on uh, you do 500 more souls and you get your fourth iron token and and uh, you know i would say uh, this is a this is a this is a point to which i would encourage everyone to go and grind yourself across to you've got plenty of time four day four and a half days and if you just you know even if you do let's say you know four and a half day and every day you do a thousand souls you can hit four thousand five hundred right because it's four and a half days times uh, times a thousand so it's definitely doable and you can push forward. Let me look at the comments now. First, it says if my snow go skills are good, he will get my level 50 Karn. Yeah, yeah. So that's a good idea. Paisi says Akivu is Ayaka's little brother. That's right. So Akivu is the three-star version of Ayaka. So it's a Titan worth getting. Now I do have, uh, I do have two Akivus, but they're not the best. Uh, but so for me if i if i can get myself to 4000 souls and i believe i will uh, i will be able to pull my uh, third akivu and hopefully she might be better than the one i have or the ones i have uh, now now the other interesting thing and this is a point that was brought up by uh, i guess game rescue when he mentioned that uh, all these champions that we see the snow go at 10000 souls the venom task at 15000 souls and finally the the flame hide at 20,000 souls now whether these champions are the normal champions or they are uh, you know uh, x skilled or one of these modified um, uh, versions of themselves but uh, from what i understand from game rescue's comment on sergio stream uh, that uh, they probably are and I, I don't want to quote him on this because you know he, he you know you because again uh, it's only when we hear from the devs it will be official but so far what it appears to me from that comment is that these piggies are normal piggies they are the classic piggies uh, so you can expect to have any sort of skill role in the possible options that are already uh, on the dot database so if you go to dot database you can check out all these titans and look at what kind of skills you probably will be looking at uh, you normally land up getting some resistances uh, i think it's 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 two resistances and three attacks or some or, or the other way around i think it's three resistances and two attacks uh, but yes you get that now now in regarding relics as well what we don't know is whether these these relics uh, the avalanche and the ice hammer now both of these uh no not ice hammer really the avalanche for example the avalanche and the great plague now these two relics are known or at least recorded on the dot database to have uh skills that actually boost the troops and uh, not not the champ not the uh titan itself so if 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 that's the case 
if there's a possibility of that happening then it might be worth for those who haven't uh, got those variants of these uh, relics to go and try and have a look let me catch up on the chat uh got Pisces says says okay we've got that as well first chef says events are us are on the same server as my alliance Ooh, that's nice man so you can at least be assured of having a good uh, uh, uh having uh, lots of pp partners to help you do the grind so that's good man that's good to hear so guys my thoughts on this event okay i think it's a good event especially for beginners uh, or newcomers to the game uh, but it can also be looked for if you haven't got yourself any Forsa champion uh, or and especially if you haven't got yourself and if, if you haven't got yourself any champion that's good enough at the moment this event is worth your time because of the fact that in terms of uh, in terms of the time that you'll need to put in uh, you uh, well you have four and a half days but the, the soul count is is, is is yeah you are yes it's not it's not very low it's still 20,000 but if you are committed then and you have all the, the things all your tokens saved up you could consider going all the way uh, if you ask me what are my thoughts well i don't uh, this might be uh, well news to some of you guys but i don't have any of these piggies i don't have any four star uh, four star piggy uh, so i don't have a snow go or a venom tusk or a flame hide uh, but i never really needed them uh, because i was always a ranger person but now with the new uh, with the new meta coming in we know how things are you know how things are changing around uh, and it it is becoming the dawn of flame of uh, of, uh, of flame the, of grenadiers in a way right so given that's the case i would say uh, it probably is a good idea for me to go for one of them but i do have a pretty decent not not the best but a pretty decent four star champion and i got and the champion I'm referring to is Coldan. So I got Coldan from the last Earth event that we had, uh, and I'm pretty pretty happy with him. Not he's not the best, and I'll bring his skills up in a second. Uh, but uh, because I have a Coldan, I don't and I can't. I don't really think I can work on multiple projects. Uh, I've got a couple of things I want to work on as well. Given that, I don't think I'm really stoked about going for any of them. But uh, to help my alliance out, I will consider pushing for the 10k mark because that is something I can achieve. Uh, so going up 10,000 souls is a decent idea. I get myself a snow go. I'm not actually going to be doing it for snow go, uh, but just to sort of help my alliance out. Uh, so that's where my view is. I'm certainly not going to go up <laughs> to uh, to anything beyond that uh, because I don't think I would really want to uh, waste my time well and my uh, my gems. I want to keep my gems stocked up and ready for the Odin event or you know even if not the Odin event just keep keep it all for the event to follow um, so right guys so let's continue on with our with our grind so I'm going to just try and find there we go someone's hitting my event LAN I, I'm hoping that they are courteous enough to have <laughs> have PP lens themselves and look at that this is very classic guys so you know you'll find a lot of players who would do their who would do their uh, the events but you'll be so if you're, if you're here guy if you're mojo from the marauders if you watch my stream many times buddy if you're going to attack my vp if you're going to attack well my lands on pp you're going to change them then just have the courtesy to at least put one land on on low defense just to help people out okay I'm not going to be that person who's going to go and hit your hit your garrison. I don't want to waste my stones, but this is something that annoys me consistently. When people just take it for granted and the radio, PP lands and then not don't reciprocate. But anyway, we'll move on. Hello, Sparrow. Ho ho ho! Welcome, welcome to the stream. Nice to catch you around. Oh, hello, Oli. Uh, and sorry, Oli, I, I didn't actually stick around to your um. To your stream a little bit earlier uh, I, the, the reason is that uh, I've got these hundred portal stones and you know, on my on my account and I, I have to finish them up so that I can keep my pulse and regenerating so I, and I and already I already sort of set up me to do a stream before I sort of your stream coming up but I will definitely catch up on your stream after this so guys any of you here haven't uh, been following Oli 
Oli is is been re, uh, releasing some content on using uh, different strategies on handling the new AI. So uh, do go and have a look. And he's also doing some streams, I believe now. Uh, so do check out his content. Okay, let's do an interesting battle. What's this? We got an Ulrich here. Uh, ooh, this is going to be a tough one, but we'll do this. We'll do an Ulrich battle. Uh, let's set something up. I always like to, you know, when I see a very high VP target, it's kind of hard to turn it down, isn't it? <laughs> well, we'll see why. Oh, I did have a subscriber a while back. I'm sorry, I didn't, I missed the name. Uh, if you're around on my channel, please do say hi so I know you're here. Hello, Bo, welcome. Welcome to my stream again. Uh, I have a four hour drive. How long are you streaming, lol? Well, I'll stream for a bit. I've got 78 portal shown, so definitely for a while, but it is. It is 9:15 in the UK, so and I did have a long day at work, uh, but I'll but I'll try and keep you entertained, bro. So you keep driving, you keep focusing focusing on the road, <laughs> uh, while I do my stream. And I hope my audio is clear enough that you can pick up. So I'm now going up to fight an Ulrich with my Ladega with all Panthers. It's a level 60 Ulrich with the five star Earthbreaker. So I would expect some melee resistance, uh, but this should be a fun battle. You know, just doing the grinds, I kind of get bored after a while, just doing, hitting like PP lands one after the other, one after the other, and just sort of raking up all that food on my garrison. I like to change things up to find something um, interesting to do. Uh, Oli, I'm going to save my tokens for Odin. That's a good idea, that's a good idea, Oli. Uh, I, I, I personally myself have only three tokens left, and I did because I went... Go totally berserk on the last event, uh, but I'm happy for that because I got a decent Valkyrie. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I am looking forward to uh, the events of this, guys. I'm just going to focus on the battle. Uh, Bo says, Did you see where Pisces Shark got an Ayak? <laughs> yes, uh, Bo, uh, our, uh, our friend Pisces Shark. Uh, has mentioned it without fail that he's got an Ayaka and you know I appreciate that I I you know I always like uh, you know it, it's something new something he does uniquely uh, and that's all cool that's all cool man I think I need to get this thing fixed up let's freeze that guy let's freeze him you're gonna waste a lot of spells on this but uh, you're a now, this thing is really weird, guys. When I do battles and I put a terror spell, I I, I, I don't think I, I don't know if I got hit by the other terror spell, but occasionally my panthers, when I give them rage and shield, they would all run away. It's kind of weird, but uh, well, okay, this uh, Ulric is going down almost at zero health. That Ulric is down. Well done, my panthers. Uh, let's uh, break this thing up. Obviously, we don't want the grenadiers to completely wreck my panthers, although my panthers do have fire resistance they are 72 percent resistance to fire uh but I, but but even then if uh, they're high level these uh, grenadiers can really wreak havoc so my uh ladega just chilling at the back while the panthers do the dirty work catching back sparrow says man in i'm uh, i'm about three day in cap war my lines got shaved three times but i have i have 40 million for for my alliance oh wow okay so a 40 million lead, I think you mean, man, that's great. You know, I mean, uh, great and bad at both because you know, being in a cap war during an event, not the prettiest thing. There you go. I lost a couple of uh, Panthers guys, quite a few Panthers. So not something I would encourage you all to do during an event. Uh, and also given the fact that uh, um, Panthers take so long to train. But guys, what I have been doing is I have been actually upgrading or forging my uh claw warp so that's the relic that is used to reduce the training time for panthers i'm actually trying to work on that i think i've got it to level three uh and i think it will give me i think at the at the maximum level about 18 percent reduction in in time which uh, which because it's 10 minutes normally is is a decent reduction oh hello king joshua welcome to the stream and guys sorry if i have missed anyone who said hi on the stream please do uh, say hello as well uh, I've got a slightly different setup today. I am looking at um, I'm looking at the comments on the laptop, but I'm, I'm having to look at something else as well on the screen. So 
if i do miss your comment just put your comment uh, just copy and paste your comment again and i'll i'm sure to get to it and respond uh eight minute when maxed oh nice 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 so yeah i'm at eight minute 36 seconds at the moment so i guess the few more a few more levels uh that should be pretty cool so so guys yeah so that's how the that's how the event set up and uh you know i would say anyone who's even not doing the event uh always try and look at what your alliance is, is doing now i know i know some of my you know my alliance for example if an event comes up uh, and then you guys will say hey are we doing the event and people say i'm not doing the event okay now what that should mean is if you're not doing the event you should try and do at least a minimum amount of souls even if the even if this is just my this is just what I, I would recommend is that even if your alliance doesn't have a soul minimum just set just set just set a minimum for yourself you know two and a half thousand souls and if you have 50 people in your street in your in your team if you get two and a half thousand souls per person and it's not terribly hard to do that actually two and a half thousand souls per person you land up with a uh, you know land up with a good rank in the event it's just that that's how it is So guys, yeah, that's not what it is. Just try and focus on the events uh, and help your and help your teammates out. But yeah, being in a cap war during an, during an event is not fun. It's not fun at all. I mean, even a while back, guys, just before I actually began the stream, I set up everything up. I logged in and guess what? Somebody hit my garrison. Uh, and, you know, uh, you know, that pissed me off. But then I thought, hey, am I going to go and going to raid his, get his garrison? And then I said, look, well, he's in, he, the guy hitting me is like a level 23, level 24 castle player. He's got probably a marmish on defense. I not that I can't probably take him down. I probably could, but is he worth my six portal stones? Given that I want to do 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 an event for my for my team, I can I can get the same amount of VP, probably twice the amount of VP that I get from him in you know by doing a couple of raids uh, on land. So I thought, well, keep that aside. I'll I'll deal with him later on sometime. And when to do this now, you know, and it does happen sometimes you'll find people, they'll come back and hit your garrison during events. And, you know, say, so, you know, kind of, you know, where I'm with it, you know, I know it's a war game. I don't really have to cry about it. You can hit my garrison if you, if that's what you want to do, that go for it. But man, don't be a prick and <laughs> continuously hit, hit someone's garrison. Okay, that's not cool. Hitting someone's garrison once, you proved your point. You're awesome. But move on and hit someone else. Sparrow says, I just read, just read Castles 25, man, that's good, that's good. I'm not at that level yet with my uh, Ladega, in fact, um, but, but though it was, it was a couple of days ago that I did manage to actually take down uh, a Mamish defense, and I do have, I think I have a video for that, uh, but uh, it's not, all, I don't always win, so I, I sort of measure my losses, at the, and given that Panthers now take longer to train, I am more cautious uh, when I enter battles. Ha oh, hello, Anubis. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. And Anubis, you are in NT Knights, I will, or Guardians. And, and and you are in the same server as me, man. And uh, it's been uh, it's been awesome having you in my thing. And uh, Anubis, I've got a couple of PP lands set up. If you want to have... Uh, if you want to have a go at them and uh, train up your titans, I've got a variety of level of lands. I've got level 25, level 22, level 20 lands. So feel free to choose the lands you want. Get the XP you need from my lands. All it's all there, all there for all there for you to go and have a look at. Do so. Feel free to do that. Oh, hello, Zer Ida. I, I remember you from other streams. Glad you could be here. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure to have people on my stream and uh, and to say hello and to say how you're doing in the event. Uh, thanks. I I got to. All right. Okay. Cool. Uh, Paisi says when uh, whenever someone hits my castle during event, I laugh because 
instead of getting 20 or 26 souls they are getting only 10 or 13 because they use six stones sim assume yeah that's uh, that's one way to look at it uh, but perhaps for them they, they're not probably interested in the event and you know I would say anyone who's probably at castle level 25 he probably wouldn't be really interested in this event so for them <laughs> This event is, uh, for some of them at least, this event is as though it doesn't, it didn't ever exist. Because uh, given that uh, a lot of the high level players at level 25 castles would probably, would have played the game long enough to get themselves a, uh, a champion by now. So they probably wouldn't be too amped about it. Um, and they probably would completely ignore this event. So yeah, but you know anyone else sitting that anyone sitting this yeah, you're right They are wasting their um, You know they're wasting their stones In fact guys there was when I was a relatively uh, lower level player in this game. I think when I was about uh, Castle level 17 or 18. I, you know, I used to get rammed completely rammed uh, by high level players on some occasions um, and uh, I would be, uh, you know, I'd be like, hey, can you stop hitting my guys? And I was one of those crybabies, you know, I used to be like, hey, and I, you know, I'm going to admit it, you know, I'm not going to be like one of those, like, hey, you know, I was one of those, like, hey, you can hit my garrison, and I'm going to, like, I, 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 I would, I mean, I would, say, I would cry to myself, I wouldn't actually cry to the enemy, <laughs> to the players, but, you know, I would say, hey, wow, man, I'm getting it so bad. Uh, and when that happened, it really annoyed me, because what, what I personally do as well, you know, if... If you are a stronger player, if you hit someone's garrison once, okay, you, yeah, it's fine, it's a war game. But if you're going to hit the person again and again, like literally farm them like crazy for no reason, that's that's when you become a bully, man. That's when you become a bully. And that ain't cool. Uh, Bogner says, what, uh, are the what are the boost titans? Okay, so the boost titans for this event, they are any four-star ice, four-star fire, or four-star Poison Titan, I believe. So any, you can use any of them. It could be a Ranger, could be a Guardian, could be a Champion. I, I, I believe they've excluded Earth. Let me have a look again on that. I think they've excluded Earth from this. But certainly, there is a there is a roster of things there. So let, let's have a look. Let's have a look at what's there. What's on here? Uh, not this one. You gotta click this this thing here. So there you go, guys. So Hogs of War event. Uh, it's uh, any four star ice, four star fire, and four star poison titan. So they have excluded any four star earth titan, which is interesting. Uh, but I don't know why, but that's one they have excluded. And uh, but I, oh, I think I probably know why. That's because it's a flame hide, is a fire, snowgore is an ice, and uh, and that pig uh, is. Uh, is also it was poison right so that's why they've chosen those elements but you know that is the question why don't we have a four star pig but i a four star earth pig but you know but when we have cold end right we have cold end so <laughs> maybe that's the reason but there you go hello frowny face first time catching around on my stream welcome i hope you you like the content and if you're watch first time watching around uh, I've been doing uh, some live streams of late uh, just trying to get out some content some grinding fuel for the peeps so if you are uh, in uh, looking for something to grind to something to chill out across uh, then you are at the right place uh, Bogner says so I wonder if ice mall allows any Titan to be boost oh that's a that's a very good point so like Zalon for example has got an ice mall that will change his souls or to ice damage right so and and I know he was mentioning that he can actually uh, change around his um, he can change around his relics uh, uh, to uh, so that he can well, he, when he puts it puts the ice mall on his uh, souls or he can equip all ice titan relics on him so that's a very interesting point uh, and that makes me wonder what's possible and what's not so guys i'm going up against uh what is this thing called w wukong so i'm trying a battle against wukong now um again panther is continue to remain pretty awesome guys so uh what they have done although they have increased the due the, you know the time that it takes to train the panthers the panthers themselves have remained unchanged 
the damage is what it was always there's absolutely no change in that so that's a guy I guess in a way a good thing uh, but uh, you know I do think and I, I maintain my view in this that uh, that the amount of time they've reduced for the grenade for the uh, terror spell uh, that's a bit too much so going from what 23 seconds uh, that I was at level 20 uh, terror spell uh, now it's just gonna become uh, I think what 10 seconds and I think that's pretty low that's pretty low in my view Ooh, I don't wonder how this battle is just trying to focus on the battle I think we I think we got this okay that wasn't too hard okay coming back to the chat uh, uh, we need a rock piggy yeah why not right Pisces uh, Sergio says that we yeah that'd be cool if you had that Pisces, Pisces responds to both saying he doesn't think so Mm, that, yeah, but I guess one of the people who can answer that question is Zalon. <laughs> so Zalon, if you're watching this stream on replay or if you're watching this live, perhaps you can verify for that that for us whether changing souls or well, not souls are really, but change someone's attack to ice and then change the earth to an ice and see if that gives you the boost. <clears throat> okay, catching up on the comments again. Look at that. Lost a few cats. Well, quite a few cats. Not the best thing to do in the event. But, you know, as I said, um, I can't give up an opportunity for some interesting battle or VP. Sorry, guys. Give me a second. <coughs> okay. Uh, Pisces says, uh, LMAO, we, we need Earth Piggy, Physical Piggy. Oh, Physical Piggy. We don't have a Physical Piggy, right? But then we have Ulrich. Uh, lightning piggy uh, and that's Thor <laughs> that would be awesome to do a three uh, event thing like fire and ice where people randomly get one of the three of them three events yeah that's right they could do another event with those available right oh with X skills Pisces uh, Sergio says ooh that'll be nice that'll be nice you know having X skill titans is always awesome but I do wonder whether that whether we'll see X killed a champion anytime soon. Well, we already have an X killed champion, and we know which which that is. Uh, that's our Siegfried, right? Siegfried is the four-star X killed champion, and so is Wukong, right? Wukong is also a X killed champion. And am I, am I missing someone else as a four-star champion? But yeah, I think those are the two X killed four-star champions. Super X speed. <laughs> So you say, man, that'll be a great skill. If they had super X speed, if they had the speed of, uh, of let's say, uh, infiltrators, things were all talking. Look at that, talking about, talking about uh, 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 titans. We have here, we have a Thor. Hmm. Shall we try this Thor, guys? Let's try this Thor. Just. Uh, should we do that? Now, I actually set up PP lines. I don't want to be that person. So, but that, but that, that would have been a nice battle. Let me know, guys. If you want me to try out this Thor, I will try that. But actually, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just doing the event. Okay. Let's, let's, let's just focus on something else. Bogunar says, yes, I'll run Ishkar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ishkar as well. In fact, one of the things I'm considering running is my uh, nexus because i want to get my nexus to l51 and because i'm losing quite a few panthers now in these uh, in these grinds i would think perhaps using my nexus would help me mitigate some losses and uh, and once i get all my ty uh, my panthers back to uh, you know filling up the army camp uh, i think then i can uh, go on and uh, get my ladega out again Bro, my Thor is L51 with relics, 4 star max, lol, is a beast, ooh, nice man, yeah, level 51 is definitely that level where your titans become, you know, they, they, they hold the capability of doing things solo, because the amount of damage they will, they, you know, they will throw out, um, is, you know, is enough to take down most things in one go, so I agree with you on that, and that's awesome. Pisces says, I am saving up for the next Valkyrie event because she will probably 
come out one more time probably after Odin comes out. Yeah, you're right. I think that could happen because we already saw that uh, uh, that Thor and Loki, they came out uh, for a discounted soul count. But again, I one of the reasons I think they did that was because uh, they had in, they had planned uh, th those two to be the boost for Valkyrie. Uh, so unless they have this, they have a similar plan for this. Uh, we may or may not see that happening again. But that's what it is, guys. Couple of things. So how is the week going for you at the world? I know some of the people were talking about being in a war. So Sparrow mentioned that his alliance is in a cap war at the moment. And the event's begun as well. So any of you out there, are you in any cap war? Or are you in a relaxed league for this week, taking it easy? Or are you competitively going for first place? Or where you guys are? Let me know in the comments. Now one of the things with uh, guys playing with Ladega and, I, and now my Ladega is at level uh, 53 I believe she turned 53 a while ago although she's strong her Panthers are pretty strong and I do I do enjoy the gameplay but I think after a while you know you start looking at this and like hey do I really want to be doing the same old grind all the time you know using the same setup not changing anything. And that's when I tell myself, hey, I'm going to change things up. And that's why now <laughs> I'm going to change things up. Let me bring out my Nexus. Let's sort of we can look at some different Titans, right? Why? What's the point in just grinding with the same Titan all, all the time, right? So let's bring out... Uh, where is my Nexus? There is my Nexus, level 51. Now you can see, well, level 50, my Nexus... Is only a couple of uh, well, not well, not too far away from level 51. So I'm gonna try and run this. Uh, let me read back the comments. Uh, Paris says, "Bro, my thoughts." Oh, we read that. Sorry, uh, Pisces shock. Oh, that we read that as well. Uh, someone did ask the devs, and they didn't deny it. So seems very possible. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's possible as well. Uh, Sparrow Valkyrie is good for 11k for 11k for Odin event. Yeah, that's possible. That's possible. Hey, Hector, man, welcome. Welcome to my stream. So, I'm just trying to do some grinds for this event and uh, trying. I guess now what I'll focus on is to use my uh, Nexus. I'm going up against an Akivu. And Akivu is, of course, one of the titans you can win from this event. The three star Moss Main Champion. Not too bad, Titan herself or himself. So, but we're thinking, yeah. So, Hector, how are you doing in the in this uh, this week? And are you planning to get flame hide in this event, or are you gonna go somewhere in the middle, somewhere halfway between in that uh, in that range? With Nexus, I now you know kind of the relics I put on my Nexus at the moment. She 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 is pretty cool, man. She's got 50% resistance to poison as well. So at least some of the Panthers, uh, the damage that they they, they inflict uh, is taken off, which really helps. And uh, and you know any one of you who are considering getting a Valkyrie, uh, a Valkyrie is probably in my view as the depending on the skills of course that you get uh, she would be one of the titans that uh, would fall in line with uh, titans like Marmesh and titans like Siegfried because of the fact that they boost grenadiers and, and this becomes especially explicit in the current meta so if you haven't got uh, any of the titans like say you haven't got a Marmesh you don't have got a Siegfried you haven't got uh, any of the X skill guardians or whatever, uh, like the Avalos, for example, as well, um, or you haven't got yourself a Theros, which is an X skilled uh, Ice Ranger that boosts Imperials and Archers. I would highly recommend getting one of these Titans when they come out. Ooh, there was a bit of silence in the stream. Look at that, those Panthers, because they saw my Panthers first in battle, 
there is fatal attraction let's divide let's get them get rid of them <laughs> there we go that's got rid of them come on come on not the quickest raids of course but it does minimize losses Hector says I have flame height thinking of venom tusk to to complete the collection but it's still 15 k souls that's true it is quite a way quite a way ahead and guys i don't know if any one of you well i'm sure someone no, noticed this now if you look at how they have decided to place the three champions now what reason what other reason could there be to have flame hide at the top position other than that that he is a unek champion so what it seems to suggest that that the devs themselves consider flame hide to be a much better titan in the current meta than uh, than venom tusk and snowgore so snowgore being at 10k probably in their view is not a titan that's as you know is, is, is it well half as worthy <laughs> as uh, as flame hide so i don't know of course uh, any champion is only as good as the skills that that he or she is able to get on her uh, so but if you do get yourself a very good flame hide uh, the kind of relics that, that you can put on a flame hide uh, can, can be the ones that will boost the titan and grenadiers that will accompany uh, the champion on defense perhaps and that that would be a good idea although not a lot of people actually use that on defense but it's something to consider there you go that's is that an uh, that is an a uh, kivu or is it an uh, i can't remember there you go Uh, missing some comments sorry guys let me have a quick let me look back at the comments and see if i missed anything okay nope i actually haven't missed anything no wrong gamer don't t tell me we might have a fire event soon mm, i don't know well this is well is this a is this is kind of a fire event isn't it because if you look at let's look at the rewards chain okay um okay we've got obviously this the, the actual individual reward chain is all filled up is all filled up with you know with the, but but if you look at the final relics as well you got a fl flamberge at at 19k and a, and flame height at 20k which is good but you also at 17k you also have a fire relic so from between 17 to 20k you only get fire relics and a fire titan but as far as the leaderboard goes as well Top fifth, well, top hundred. You get a flamberge. You get, you get a. Okay, look at that. You get a snowgore at between eleven fifty. You get a venom tusk between six and ten, and then top four and five. You get venom flame as well. But also notice that top reward is still a fire titan, which again makes me feel that they prior that in the current meta, a unite titan is considered stronger than a poison titan. Probably not universally true, but there is some element of uh, uh, of intent there from the devs. Hello, Gary and M. Welcome and nice welcome to my stream. Pisces, you didn't uh, know how to have an awesome Ayaka. <laughs> yep. Okay. Pisces, I got a Krothos, Venom Tusk, and Ayaka. Okay, Bogunara. Not sure what. Debrin is but to answer your question. Okay, okay. A virtual cornipoke of I can't. I, don't, yeah, I always struggle pronouncing that word, but I know what you mean. It's a collection of four. Sorry, I mean it's a. We got a we got a range range of uh, of set of titans there. So obviously, if you rank within the top twenty five, you, you know it's, it's going to be raining. <laughs> It's going to be raining Fosa titan, uh, Titans there. Cornucopia. There you go. Cornucopia. I was struggling why I couldn't pronounce that. So let's get this battle on the road. I'm hoping that I can find some strategies to not lose so many troops. And I know Bo. Bo I, uh, so which Titan are you running with this event with? Is it going to be your trusty... Okay, you probably won't be, you won't be using a six foot because I won't give it the boost, right? So which Titan are you considering to be 
as your chosen one for this event. Now also guys, if some of you have been uh, catching up on my, my content from, uh, from the early in the week, there are a couple of things that I, that I, I would like to share regarding uh, tackling the new AI. Now there was, uh, although there are some things that I have discovered, I will not discovered really, or come across during my, during my experiments. It's not something new really, uh, but, uh, but something I would definitely like to encourage people to do now. For example, if you're going up against, um, you're going up against a, a, a defense which has got all the grenadiers right at the front, okay, and trying to attack them, what you could do, and this is what I've tried as well, okay, uh, if, you're, if let's say you're going to be attacking that garrison, uh, with all pikemen okay what you can do is set up one pikeman which will which will which will get into range before all your other pikemen will get into range so what will happen is all those all the grenadiers will fire simultaneously okay and this will require some planning on placement placement of that pikeman uh, but that will cause all the grenadiers to fire simultaneously at that uh, at that bait Imperial and that Imperial will obviously or pikemen would uh, get obviously fried up But then it will give some time to your other Pikemen to come in and make that charge and probably bring down Those grenadiers so you can try this if you if you haven't and it might bring you some success on while raiding uh, garrisons or defa or lands which have got a lot of grenadiers on it Bonus is probably Ishka. Sorry, you did mention that. Sorry, I forgot that comment there. So running in Ishka. I think that's a good idea. An Ishka is a good idea. And also, guys, uh, so that's that's one strategy. And the other thing I can say is, if you're going up against a defense that's got Panthers, you could you can go in without using any terror spells. And I've made a video about it. And again, this is not new knowledge there. But it is something that will be more effective in the current AI. So what you can do if you're going up against, let's say, a Ladega defense, and you have a good archer, or ranger, I mean, what you could simply do is uh, move your uh, panthers the way I'm doing on the map. Just move them side to side to just attract the incoming panthers. And because the, the panthers, have, they do take some time to acquire their skill, well, not the skill, sorry, the, 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 uh, their target, really, it can give you enough time to uh, uh what you know uh, for, for your titan to, to either fire at that titan or, or you have to inflict proper melee damage so perhaps trying that out would be worth idea so if you want if you want to have an see an example of this uh my video on kiting panthers with panthers will give you some idea about it but again guys i'm not trying to say this is something i have come up with it's just that something i've observed and i do hope you guys can you try this out and it pro my, and hope it helps um Hector says he's using a level 1 Mahmesh. Ooh. So you're training up your Mahmesh then. So he wouldn't be level 1 too long though. Well, that's a good idea. Bogan says it's raining pigs. Hallelujah. It's raining pigs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, everyone is running different uh, different titans. So so while we're here, let me bring up, let me bring up some, um, ooh. let me, let's have a look at what titans that, that I could probably use this event with. So I can obviously use a Nexus, uh, who, uh, who should give me some advantage on the battlefield, uh, because, well, because he, she's level 50. The other titans I could use, I could still use my Calcor. He's a four star fire titan. And, I, and as some of you know, uh, he, Calco, he's the man that got me my Valkyrie. So I'm never going to fuse him away. <laughs> he did a lot of work for me, and I, you know, I, I'm going to be quite attached to him for the, for getting this. Hector says, "Oh, well, I thought I got a comment. It didn't come up here. Am I actually lagging on my comments on the thing there?" Yeah, and if you guys are there, you're trying, you're trying to, if you, if you're trying, looking for easy hit to hit my lands, uh, well, hit, to hit some lands, I've got some lands open. So, 
Now I was hoping that this event would have let me train up my Valkyrie, but uh, I don't. She's not a booster titan, but I would really loved if that if there was an event where I could actually get this Valkyrie up. Uh, but that's probably not going to happen for a while. So I think I'll try and focus on try and focusing on my Mitano, and I think Mitano is the one I really want to focus on uh, because the final two skills on this Mitano are deadly. Uh, for Titans, um, resist against Titans. Good skill set for Panthers. Definitely for Panthers, a good skill set because Panthers are inherently quite strong, but they, their their weakness remains Rangers, right? They would take them out while they're being kited up. So, so no amount of kiting will be sufficient for this Mitano. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to train uh, train this Mitano up. Hector says, fuse everything you have into that, into that Valkyrie. I, you know, I would, I absolutely would. Uh, just gonna wait for, just gonna wait for the next fusion event. And trust me, guys, once the next fusion event comes in, this Valkyrie, I'm, I'm gonna throw in a lot of, lot of, <laughs> a lot of meat into her, uh, because for a couple of reasons. First, I have. I have very good relics for spearmen, not not the best, but I do have very good relics for spearmen. I do have I do have decent relics, not the best relics, but I do have decent relics for grenadiers. So because I have that, I can if I can level up level her up, she would be instantly cool for me to use. So I'll definitely be focusing on uh, on on doing that, on working on um, on Valkyrie. So I'm really can't wait for the next event to come up. I'm not going to take Valkyrie into this battle because that'll be horrible. Because <laughs> she's just a baby. She's just a baby. Hector says, everything, empty your Titan Hall on her. Man. <laughs> oh, man. I know I know some people do that. But I think, I'll, but I think I'm, I'm a bit too attached to some of my Titans. And uh, you probably be so I don't know if it's a surprise. I still have my three-star Cormac. I never fused my Cormac away because he he was my he was a Titan that I used when I was a very young player trying to make uh, you know trying to do things. So I, I used to play a lot with Infiltrators back then, and then it was only after I got myself my uh, uh, logo, I think. When I got my logo, that's when I started to actually use more of Rangers. But it was it was not till I got my logo that I was using anything but my Cormac. Hector says Drake scales. Unfortunately, I don't have the four star Drake scales, and that is something I would love to have. Um, but I do have the four star and three star flame volleys, all maxed out. Uh, and I'm hoping that uh, when the next fire event, the proper fire event comes around, I will probably try and get my hands on a doom fire relic or one of those ones. But man, that four star or, uh, Drake scale is a very elusive relic, and I don't know if I don't know if many people actually have it. But that will be quite a good one to have. Guys, just checking into the into the clock. I've been streaming for one hour and four minutes. Fifteen people watching. I appreciate everyone's audience here. Uh, always fun to catch peeps around uh, and go through these events. I always prefer doing these grinds with <laughs> people in my stream because when I'm doing this hundred portal stone grinds, man, it's so boring. Even with music on, I'm doing the same thing: going into a battle, hitting the battle button, moving things around, and coming back again. But having you guys to speak to, it just makes it makes it so much easier. And I hope uh, while you guys are watching the audience, uh, you also find this entertaining to an extent and makes your grind a little bit more easier. Can I blame Zalon for that? Oh, I accidentally claimed 50 portal stones again. Ooh. That happens, man. That happens more often than you probably want. I've claimed 
uh, I, I've actually accidentally once claimed 200 portal stones at the end of an event. I didn't actually need that. And that was quite a bummer. But then, you know, I made the most of it. I actually grinded it out <laughs> uh, just to help my lines out. But yes, that can happen. So you've got to, just got to be careful when you get these, uh, these rewards pop up that you don't click it because... Even if you don't have space in your in your relic storage, if you click on those uh, 50 or 100 or whatever portal stones and from the rewards chain, they will get credited to your account, and you will end up having these massive amount of portal stones which uh, you just can't get rid of. Look at that, a Cortan level 44 Cortan. What is this guy doing, man? Putting up level 44 Cortan on his defense. But you know what? I'm pretty sure my nexus will chop him up. Let's let's uh, let's take some spells. Who knew that when we're doing this is this is the this is what you guys shouldn't do if you're setting up your PP lands. Don't freaking put in a level 44 titan on there. <laughs> Flame volley and doomfire. Only two relics work for Grens. Flame Volley and Doomfire. Yes, you are right. You're right. So, if you don't have a... So because Valkyrie is not a uh, Unak Titan, that's the only two... That, those are the only two relics that I can actually put on uh, my Valkyrie. But I have them. They are ready. So, I will I will make two with that. I uh, And again, obviously, I will be trying to use my Valkyrie on actual offense. Um, to try and see, to see how she does. All right, let's see. Let's see this battle. We have Cortan, level 44. Okay, that wasn't wasn't the best Cortan. <laughs> but it was fun to watch. Cortan does look majestic on battle, I must say. And I know, I do know. So, I, is it Bo? Bo, that you have a almost a championish, uh, ch championish uh, Cortan? Because he is pretty cool, man, and he's he does have a very far reach. Or uh, in, in the swing, so that that does help clearing stuff out. And yeah, you are thinking often as well. Yeah, yeah. If yeah, if if I if if I had a, if I wanted to have a defensive build for my uh, Valkyrie, I could do that as well. But I think even then, um, ha yeah, having health and stuff is good on uh, on Grenadiers. But I think what really matters is what damage they throw out, and uh, so yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked that uh, I've got that Valkyrie, and I really can't wait. Now, one of the things, guys, and let me know if you guys think I should do this. Okay, now this is what I was considering doing earlier. Now, I've got, okay, I've got this Mitano, right? Where's this Mitano gone? So I've got this Mitano. Now she's at level 9. Is it a she or whatever? Okay, so this Mitano is at level 9. Okay, I only have one relic slot open. Now if I can get two relic slots two relic slots on Mitano, I could actually use him or her on my grinds. So do you guys think I should fuse some titans into Mitano at the, right away to get that Mitano at least closer if not right at level 20 so let me know what you guys think Bogano says Kortan is awesome yeah I mean he is majestic he is a definitely a majestic majestic titan and and um, I think if I got if, if I do get him next time on uh, and if whenever he comes around the next time I would look I, I would probably try and get him just because he looks cool so what do you guys think should I be fusing uh, stuff into this Mitano to get him or her to level 20 so I can get another relic slot Anyway, till you guys respond to that. Uh, I says two relic slots unlocks at 20, so I don't think it's worth till a fusion event. Okay, so because I I probably will require a whole a whole lot of um, titans to do that, right? So maybe maybe yeah, that's right. So let's not do that then. <laughs> let's just stick with uh, what we have. Let me know if any of you guys have a different opinion on that. Um, No, I'm not gonna fuse my nexus into anything. Uh, see if I missed anything. Yep. 
Let's continue the grind. Let me see if I can find some easier targets there. So 15 people watching and it's uh, it's almost 10 p.m. in the UK and I can already feel my voice sort of dribbling dribbling down but uh, <laughs> uh, but guys it's uh, you know I always like doing the streams and uh, I actually was intending to do my stream early in the day when uh, I came in but you know I saw that uh, when I put it in band that uh, there were a couple of other peeps that wanted to go ahead from non-toxic and uh, from Alliance and I was like cool man that's fine that's fine I would just chill out listen to them but now man it's get, getting end of the day and I'm beginning to lose my energy <laughs> um, and, I, I, and I wish I was one of those streamers who would say hey you know what I'm going to stick on I'm going to drink all this bunch of Red Bull and uh, soda drinks but uh, I I I really don't like those energy drinks, man. And 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 I, you know, for me, it's more like if my body is asking me to sleep, <laughs> I'm gonna sleep. Uh, I do love, I do enjoy my slumber. Uh, but don't get me wrong, when there are events and things that I gotta do, I will cut off, cut down my sleep. But I do enjoy, do enjoy a good nap, a good tucking, <laughs> as they say. But we'll keep this going. So I have about 39 portal soon. So we do have we do have some material to burn on. But if any of one of here uh, of you here wants to go ahead and want to stream ahead, uh, just let me know and I'll just phase myself out. Okay, so got some more comments. Uh, Pisces says I've been raiding four different four stars. Raising okay, four and four stars. You know when I've got them and i know it takes a lot to get one to level 20 so better to wait for the fusion event i take your point I take your point on that oh, i didn't pay attention i lost it. oh no i didn't lose my panthers but yes, you're right you're right i think i should probably do that i'm just gonna wait wait on to that i didn't even check what this battle was <laughs> but uh, yeah guys that's uh, probably and uh Bogner says my Korthan only has two resist skills Plus health and armor with the five star paladin relic. He's like a champ that buffs any troops. Oh man, that's that's just awesome. That's just awesome. Now one of the other thing, guys, is that uh, the last time that Coldan was available, that's when I got my first four star champion. The the reason I really pushed for him as well was because I had my five star divine relic. So I have a Earthbreaker, and I've, I've recently maxed out my Earthbreaker. Let me bring that up for anyone who wants to have a look at what that relic does. So this is the uh, this is the uh, five star Earthshaker, and I managed to level this baby up uh, in the last event. It took me I don't know how many relics to get that to to, to actually happen, but it was definitely definitely worth it. Uh, managed to get it to level 10 and then uh, this relic as well is uh, will boost the damage and health for my troops so um, so getting any four star champion would be quite worth for me <laughs> because I can put this relic on uh, and would really help um, uh, and, and in fact what I think this relic is the absolute was is absolutely perfect for anyone who's got a Siegfried um, unfortunately I don't have that but one of these days when I get myself a Siegfried, this is the relic for a Siegfried. Uh, because you can boost the damage for troops. But as far as now, I'll stick with that. Pisces uh, says, fuse on stream. So what do you want me to fuse? So you, are you saying I should fuse my... Uh, if you fuse my... Mit well, get my Mitano up. Is that what you're saying? Uh, Sparrow says, my court then is level 33. I have resist poison. Uh, resist uh, poison, fire, and two armor. Man, that's a very good build. Poison and fire are, are definitely a definite good, good, build, good build. Oh, your frost, my frost shield. Okay. Okay, guys. <laughs> so, if some of you uh, caught, my, uh, caught my comments in the, in the last stream, who was, who's, well, uh, Sergion's stream, was it? Man, I need to, I'm really beginning to fade at the moment. So, yeah, so I was trying to get my, 
my frost this is my frost shield now this frost shield is at level 7 okay and i've i've fused in a hundred relics <laughs> literally hundred relics and i've counted it okay uh into this frost shield and i have got i haven't been able to get it to level 8 and level 8 is what unlocks that elusive resist skill for pan for imperials so okay guys so because uh, pisces have requested it let's just give it another tingle and let's see if i can get any success um, on this frost shield well, it's good to change things up right so always try to put four always try to put four relics while fusing up on uh, fusing this up takes me a while to find something but uh, we'll get there we'll get there there we go you know the glad belt so 11 percent chance guys hoping hoping and hoping and hoping that i get a resist of imperials to fire or poison or ice even okay but anything other than physical Paladin relic is the same as the last two skills okay yeah so the first one's different mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh guys damn it <laughs> you got i got a physical again so that is a bummer oh well oh well oh well oh well i'm not gonna work on this relic again but pisces man at least because you said that i managed to do this otherwise i wouldn't have actually worked on it but <laughs> it took me 104 relics to get that working damn i told you yeah that's that's how bad the thing is they're all physical ah what a bummer what a bummer uh spares i have two mitanos now oh that's cool do i seriously need all those low level relics uh yeah I, I think i've been hoarding a few things so like at the moment well i have this old tanker i want to keep the reason i'm keeping the earth ring is i think that's very rare to get i know it's not very useful but i just kind of keeping onto that the reason i keep my dead wood shield is because these are also not very common uh and they are very good when i'm trying to put some uh put some uh some panther buffs on my uh, land defenders so that's why i use it but yeah but i don't necessarily need them all these uh <laughs> level five dragon helms I, I had them when i was when i was uh, you know when i was using my uh, uh my titans from the earlier days when i didn't have all the three star four star version of of, of helms but yeah one of these days i probably want to fuse them out and all the other relics i can see a lot of five level five ones but these are just sort of things that i i put on to get a bit of extra stuff and and all these these stupid song of storms man i, I absolutely hate i have so many of them i i really want to get rid of them sometime soon but anyway i'm not uh, let's not do that now but man that was a bummer but anyway that's done i don't have to worry about forging that anymore <laughs> right so if you guys if and i know that i, I, I know someone though that uh, was on the line group and they said they actually unlocked a uh, um they, they unlocked a poison resist one but man it's so difficult to find one but there you go guys live on the stream i managed to do my final forge and it's gonna it is gonna be my final forge i'm not gonna actually work on that frost shield anymore because i do already have a frost shield that gives me the exact same skill set so not gonna be working on that anymore i can't really wait to get my nexus to level 51 that and she will unlock 54% ice damage on that last skill that will be very useful LMAO it's only on streams they have super success yeah it's 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 turning out to be the case I've had so many successes on my earth shaker the five star relic on stream than I've had when I do them off stream so there's something definitely going on here <laughs> i don't know what but 
does help does help so uh, the, these battles were not really grinds i was just sort of hitting so some vp here but uh, but you know it's all it's all fun the whole idea is to do battle without losing stuff hector says you might need that physical resist now with the op archers though mm that's true that's true it's true but uh, i already have I already have a frost shield with uh, with physical, so that's my second one now. But it's fine. It it, it will go on. It'll go on some land defense, some land defender. He'll use it, and I'll stick with that. Someone's attacked me. Okay, that's oh Zom City. Look at that Zom City rage from NT Guardians. Hello, hello. If you're on the stream, warm hello. Let me. Uh, uh, let me do this one battle and then I'll go and hit Zom. <laughs> well, his lands rather. So this week has been quite fun. I've uh, managed to be in the same league as uh, non-toxic guardians, anti-guardians. Uh, and it's been fun having them around. It's been pretty cool, pretty cool. I only I actually only managed to get onto this server yesterday. Um, and I realized, hey, check that out. We've got anti-guardians in there. It's been, it's only been the first ever time that I, that's actually happened. What am I doing with this setup? Oh, look at me. Getting all drowsy already. So guys, what I'll do is, let me just, I'm going to slowly and steadily finish off these portal stones. And then, uh, we'll call it a night before I fall off, fall, fall asleep on my, on my stream. Because that ain't fun. Forging is such is is such a challenge, guys. Such a challenge, and it uh, and it sometimes just becomes a matter of patience, because you know when we do all these uh, all these um, raids for events, you know you land up gathering so many relics that you you, you know you wouldn't realize how many relics you have in your treasury until you get to that point of actually trying to forge things, and you realize hey, you got to do the scroll of death just to get to those actual relics. LMA or drunk from that success. <laughs> Ricardo Duarte, hey, 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 welcome. Welcome to my stream, Ricardo. Hello, big run. Well, not, I don't know if I'm big, but <laughs> glad to see you here. Full of, full of, no. Well, I'm not, I'm not exact, I'm not, uh, off, not going off stream yet. Uh, I have a couple of stones to portal stones to get through, so you know you're not you're not uh, you're not joining me when I'm when I'm completely finished. So that's a good thing. But I'm certainly probably drunk from the success. So I forged I think in total I forged 104 relics uh, to get my four star frost shield from level seven to level eight. That's ridiculous. So many archers, man. I get so many archers from battles. Ricardo says, my, my Mitano is level 41. Nice, man. That, so that, that will make it very useful for, for grinding. Because you have four relic slots. Zom City says, PP. Shall do, sir. Zom, if you're still around. Look at you, Zom. You'll be putting up some high level rangers. <laughs> oh, that's cool, man. That's cool. Doesn't really bother me too much. Hector says, Ron, are you sure it was just tea you were drinking earlier? Haha. <laughs> Yeah, man, I was drinking tea, but I guess I didn't have enough. I was watching Sergio's, uh, watching Sergio's stream. I, I, I did brew a, a new pot of tea, and uh, I had that. And I don't know, man. It's been just a long day for me. Uh, I actually had, I was, at, I was at work from, 
about 7 a.m. in the morning and I got back at about 5-ish. So it's been a pretty long day for me. I'm um, just trying to recoup my energy. And, and normally, you know, Thursdays and Fridays, it, it really takes something out of me to uh, uh, to gather the energy to stream. And I, and I personally prefer to stream earlier in the time. And maybe one of these days I'll try and set things up early on so I'll uh, stream. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's a dramatic uh, fall of Sardu. Uh, I'll probably one of these days stream in the afternoon in the UK because uh, that's probably a good time and I would think that would be a time when not a lot of uh, people in the US would be there I guess to stream themselves I don't know that's a good thing or not but you know just trying to find a slot where you know I'm not having my stream running in parallel with some other folks because you know it's, it's, I don't think it's nice to sort of divide up the audience I mean, it's nice for all of us to look at one you know someone stream and then afterwards go on and look at someone else's stream so but you know you do what you have to hmm Zom does have some very nice PPLMs Hector says it's 4 15 p.m. here hmm 650 battles in lands level 22 plus since Monday oh so you have leveled your Mitano by 22 levels wow man it's amazing that is definitely an achievement that's definitely an achievement and uh, and that's something I hope I can replicate I do need to to find a way to you make my Mitano do some PP for me ping ponging It's so interesting that to think that who was the first player who would have who would have used the word ping pong in the chats or was it and then did it sort of you know catch on with everyone or, or was it everyone who just thought that ping pong is the right word to describe the you know uh, the process of hitting someone's land in exchange for them hitting your land it's really interesting I know I always wondered how that how that word or that phrase caught on no so miss any comments uh Pisces says when a fusion event comes i hope to get my ayaka to level 40 whenever it comes cause i will put everything but my four stars and joran Ooh. and ricardo says random lands not pp lands Mm, yeah, I mean, I guess if your Ayaka is pretty cool, it might make sense for you to do that. But if you, but I would, I, if I were you, I wouldn't fuse away my Joran. But that's because I'm probably too attached to my Joran. But but if you do have a couple of other Jorans, then yeah, perhaps not. But but my, I really really love my Joran, man. For the relics that he has, he's gotten me so many successes in, in battles. Can't even list them. And that's one of the reasons as well I want to work on my on my uh, on my other titans. Ooh. Ricardo says, will I give a fight for the pigs event? I am certainly going to help my alliance in. I am, see, I always keep an optimistic goal and then I keep a realistic goal. <laughs> so my optimistic goal is uh, 10, 10 K souls, right? Uh, and uh, my realistic goal is 4 K souls. So I'll see where I land in between. You know, when I was, when the Valkyrie event came out, my optimistic goal was, uh, was Valkyrie and my realistic goal was Mitano and uh, I managed to go even beyond my optimistic goal so that so it worked out well in the end so hopefully this time I will be able to replicate uh, that but man that event it really drained the energy out of me so in the last Valkyrie event guys I don't know how many battles you guys did but 
I did a thousand four hundred and fifty battles. Well, not in that event, but in that week. And by the time the event finished, and it was what Monday or whatever, man, I was so drained because I was doing nothing else pretty much than doing that because I didn't spend any money on the event. Oh, well, not really. I spent seven pounds on celestial deal, but I only used whatever tokens I had saved up. Uh, and that is about 23 tokens, I think, to get myself to 22,000 souls. So it was a pretty crazy event for me. And after that event, I was like, just you know, like, hey, I don't think I got it in me to repeat that again in such a short period of time. Uh, and that's why when for this event, I don't know how much time I'll have to go on to do this. But certainly what I will do, though, is get myself to 4,000 souls. And if my alliance needs me to do that, I will push on. And go on to 10,000 souls and get myself a snow god in the process. Oh, sorry, Pisces. You said that you will fuse everything. Uh, aha, so you wouldn't forge your Joran, basically. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And your four stars. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, keep, keep. hanging on to Joran is a good idea. So the PP seems to be going well, guys, so far. Actually, what I might do, guys, after this battle, because my Nexus is so, so close to level 51, I'll probably, probably put some things into her just to get her over that, over that edge. I do have a lot of infiltrate, a lot of one-star... Infiltrators line run might be fun just to see just to see some some interesting stuff happening. It's fun to watch a line of Goliaths walk and destroy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love doing that. I love seeing that. <laughs> yeah, like for example, just go in here, go bam bam. Look at that. One line kill. <laughs> Love watching that, right? And even when you... Uh, you can also get the same effect if you use an, uh, a ranger, right? And that's why the recent update... You know, even though the panth... Even the goliaths have become faster... That hasn't really done anything for them. I think they're still pretty bad. Uh, let me see. Let me see, let's see, guys. Can I get my Nexus to the next level? So, guys, look at that. Currently, the damage is 8196. I'm just going to see if I can actually get that leveled up. Because I do have a lot of food. Ooh, look at that. Let's do this. My Nexus will almost be at level 51 with this, but not quite. Look at that, I'm just, I'm just, am I one battle away? Maybe two battles away, so let, yeah. But anyway, we'll, we'll fuse something more into her. Yes, Pisces, Golads have apparently become faster. They, they have, uh, they do move faster in the battlefield. But not, but yeah, it's not, it's, it's not as pronounced or noticeable as you would probably would think it is. So, it's not really a change in my view. Uh, should I fuse? Okay, that's it. Okay, guys, let's do this. So, level 51, guys. Let's see what my damage goes up to, okay? So, the, currently the damage is 8,196. And after this fusion, we shall see what the damage of this Nexus turns out to become. You didn't pay any attention to them, so you didn't notice. <laughs> 
So skill unlocked. Ice Mastery 3 level 1. So next is what's the damage? Look at that guys. 10,659 damage. And that's and if you know if you if you look at my nexus, I've only actually got this relic. I've only got the four star avalanche, and all the relics, they're all defensive relics. That's pretty cool, I think. And that's my plan for this uh, for this nexus. I'm gonna have only defensive relics for this. Joseph Jensen, hey man, welcome, welcome to the stream. A Titan with X skill to speed Goliaths would be pretty cool. I agree. I agree. Uh, perhaps a Titan that will, I don't know, give Goliaths the speed of Imperials, maybe? That would be cool, right? I agree with you on that. About 2.5k damage boost. Hmm. Oh, yes, yes. In total. Yes, you're right. So that was pretty awesome. And, 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 you know, if I put the right relics... On this Nexus, her damage can go up pretty insane. I, I would say probably about 15 or, so, or well, not 15, probably about 18, 20k if I can get the relics in. But but I'm happy with this build. So with this build, my Nexus puts out almost 100% critical. So that's almost like delivering uh, 30k damage, is it? Per hit, so which is pretty crazy. Let's go and test out this Nexus, shall we? Let's test out this Nexus now. So let's do a battle with this Nexus. Maybe a diff maybe slightly difficult target. Nah, this will not be, that wouldn't be ideal. <laughs> okay, I think we can try this, guys. Let's try this. Obviously, the Goliaths are pretty tough. Uh, remember, 100% critical is 300% damage. Yeah. Oh, man, this, this will be a very tough battle, guys. <laughs> mm, okay, I'm, I'm willing to give this a shot. That's a level 60 Wukong. And pretty crazy. Okay. I'm going to change a few things for this battle. Uh, what should I change? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have armor. I need armor. I don't need poison resist for sure. So let's change this for the damage relic. Mm, what am I looking for? So I'm looking for the three star avalanche. Okay. Okay. I'll borrow that from Vixia. That's cool. That's 11k. The reason I'm doing this guys is because I do need a large amount of critical damage. And I'm also going to remove... Well, that's a good relic to be honest. But it's the same as... I don't need resist against ice now, do I? Hmm, what shall I put on? What shall I put on here? Aha! I know what I'm going to put on here. Let's try and do this battle, guys. I'm going to put a 4-star... 4-star... Holy Blade. That should do it. That's 96% armor piercing and 126% critical. Well, that, that's not very useful, but... Okay. Mix Ice Damage and Titan Damage Relics. To get bigger jump in damage. Oh, you're right. You are right, sir. You are right. Uh-huh. But I do need my armor... I do need a large armor piercing. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's go let's go all damage. And I do have I do have something that will help with Titan damage. I do have the boots of deceit. Where's the boots of deceit? Ah oh, man. 
come on where is it where is it where is it where is it boots of dc there we go okay ah you're right look at that i got a 4k jump man that was that was awesome okay so uh my health is lower but my damage is insane uh we shall see how far i can get with this so this would be a, should be a very interesting battle i would need yes i would need all of that i would need this i would need rage oh man this is gonna be a very tough battle i think but let's see what we can do guys Oh, I missed that uh, for a second. Okay. Okay. Obviously, the Wukong is not going to be the challenge. This is going to make for a very interesting grind. <laughs> what better way to test out my Nexus than on a Wukong Goliath defense, right? Wait, so Titan... So Titan damage skill on on relics is better than ice damage. Uh, no, I think what it does is uh, this is my understanding that if you put on uh, relics for Titan damage, they increase the base damage, and then your uh, elemental boosters uh, they would boost everything after that. Oh look at this! This was that. Okay, that was easy. The Wukong is down. Oh 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 oh. Not looking good, guys. Oh no! <laughs> that that didn't work out, guys. That didn't work out. Obviously, they're not gonna do anything. That was a tough battle, guys. So I had about 45,000 damage on these Goliaths, but nothing happened. So, mm, Nexus, you failed me. Hey, El uh, Siablo, yeah, man. Uh, you don't speak English, but that's cool, man. That was one crazy battle, guys. One crazy battle. This Wukong is the one I'm going to come back to. I'm not going to try him again. But I will come back. Uh, probably will have to use... Probably will have to use another... Let's let's have a look. Let's see what he's got. I can, I, I can probably get... Let's... Hmm. Okay, guys. Because I'm so curious about this battle. Let's try him again. I'm going to try him with a different Titan. Yeah, Paisa, they were super tanky, right? They were super tanky. They were absolutely super tanky. And this is what I'm going to do, guys. Let's use Earth for Earth. Okay, this should be cool for this. Uh, I'm just going to... Do I have more rage? I do have more rage. Uh... I will keep in one of these ones because might have something popping in. The problem is these. Look at those archers, man. Those archers could cause me cause some problems. So let's take more. Let's take one of this. Let's try this again, guys. It's a different layer of multiplication, so it adds different ele different elemental damage in one layer and base damage in another. Yeah, Hector. But that's something I haven't actually worked out yet. But uh, that definitely sounds like what it's doing. Don't forget the yes. Yeah, I have to keep I have to keep an eye of those. Just got to make sure that. These Goliaths, they see my, uh, 
militia first Okay, let's try this guys. Look at that guys, did you see that? <laughs> no rage. No, I don't need to worry about it. I not worry about anything now. That's why I love my Joran. I'm just waiting for the archers to drop now. Wow, that they have 236% earth damage, man. That's and 176% health. Uh oh, uh oh. Have I, have I killed all the Goliaths yet? There you go, guys. Oof. That was an intense battle, but I love that, man. That was so, that was, that was amazing, right? <laughs> Joran for the win. Joran for the win. And that's why I'm never going to get rid of my Joran. And that's, the, the whole reason is that... Not a lot of not a lot of uh, troops have resistance to earth. That's basically why. That was that was a crazy battle. I love this. Okay, wow, this guy is awesome, man. I'm gonna try natural rust roster later on. He's got a he's got a Theros. But I, I don't want to go after him again and again. He'll think that I'm just targeting him at the moment. But uh, that was a cool battle. Let me come back, collect stuff. Okay. So guys, what do you think of this battle? Uh, Hector says elemental damage of 60% and elemental damage of 30% is only multiplied by 1.9. Okay. Elemental 60% base damage 30% multiplied by 1.6. Then Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So because they are multiplied separately rather than being multiplied as, uh, as a cumulative thing, they give they give a larger uh, larger boost on damage, right? Yeah, that makes sense. But wasn't that man? That was one of the I, I I've I've gone up against a Wukong before, but man, I would say this is one of the toughest uh, Wukongs that I've gone up against. Look at that, Zayd's put up a PUBG stream. Zayd's doing a lot of PUBG stuff. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Mm, let's let's speed up the battles now. Ledega is getting too bored. <laughs> so we've got uh, one more battle to go. And uh, I think after this battle, I will put an end to this stream. So we've been going for about 1 hour and 49 minutes. Pretty long. So Bo... I don't know if you're still listening in, tuning in, and watching to my watching my stream. I hope you're driving safe, you're on your way to your destination, or you've reached your destination. Uh, but it's been super fun, guys. And uh, on a Thursday evening like this, about 10 p.m. or so, it's 10, almost what, 10:40 p.m. here in the UK. It's really lovely to have you all here to along with me to help in me do this 100 portal stone grind. It's been really fun, really fun having you all here. So let me give a give big shout out to all of all of my subscribers uh, and all the people who have been watching my stream so far. Uh, so we got Pisces, we got Hector, we got we got uh, El Calabero, who was joining recently. Nice to have you. Uh, we've got Joseph, we got Ricardo Duarte, we've got Pisces Shark, Sparrow Aro, Bogonora. Sergion who was there for a bit. 
Yeah, I hope I don't miss anyone. Frowny face, Zerd, Ali, Anubis, of course, Sparrow, Aro, Oli, First F, Mukesh Patel. So thank you all for tuning in. Hey, Savage Studios, thank you for subscribing as well. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Uh, so guys, thank you for joining into my stream. Uh, and I'm glad that you could, you could stick around. And I hope you all have a great event. Uh, you go on and uh, get to the target that you need. Um, I wish everyone the best. I will try and do more streams uh, very soon. Probably tomorrow I will do a stream. Or probably around the same time. So it will be pretty fun. So thank you all for coming in guys. Thank you. Uh, Ricardo says for big players may not the best titan. To most time for battle. Yeah, it's de definitely something you want to grind. So do grind route and see where you can get it. And Hector, thank you for that analysis. That was very useful to know how elemental damage uh, and titan damage work together. That was very useful. So thank you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Ho have a great event. And I'll catch you again tomorrow. Have a good one, guys. Bye.